Okay, so I am going to make lemon cream cheese um, fat bombs today. I found this recipe on YouTube, so it's not my recipe. I got it from someone else. Um, you take four ounces of cream cheese. This is this is not going to make a full um, ice cube tray. I already made a batch, and it made almost the whole tray, but not the whole thing. So. Um, you're going to want to double it if you want to have a full tray. So um, if you are okay with just having a few, that's great. Just do this four ounces. So four ounces of cream cheese. A fourth cup of coconut oil. This is a coconut oil I use. It's just from Costco. Organic virgin coconut oil. Cold pressed, unrefined. So on a fourth cup, obviously you see my fourth cup is a little bigger than um, a fourth cup. I didn't measure it off. I just scooped it in here. And then, Tally, can you bring me the butter out of the microwave, please? Then you're going to want four tablespoons of melted butter. Um, Which Tally is agreeing to me. Thank you very much. Four tablespoons of melted butter. Wow, that's kind of hot. Um, two tablespoons of lemon juice. Um, the first batch I made, I didn't think it tasted lemony enough, so I added a smidge more. But that was roughly a half of a, um, an, a large onion. Onion? No, lemon. So, lemon. Not onion. Do not put onions in your fat bombs. And, well, maybe some people do. I, I've never tried that. Some lemon zest if you like lemon zest. I do like lemon zest. So I tried the batter of the first one, and it's, it's tasty. Um, I think I'm going to really like these. I don't know whether they're going to taste like frozen or if they're going to have a different texture or be kind of weird or something, but um, so far I really like, liked it. But um, the lady said you do half of a teaspoon. I didn't do that on the first batch. I just did a few of them, mostly because I'm lazy and I don't want to do that forever because it's kind of a pain to zest. And then she put quite a bit of sweetener in hers. I think it was a teaspoon, I want to say, or two teaspoons. But I don't really like the flavor of artificial sweeteners. I think they give a nasty aftertaste. But I did want something. I wanted a little bit of a sweetness. So I went ahead and did um, one, two, three, four squirts. So they're not super sweet. If you like your stuff really sweet, you're going to want to um, add more. And you can even try the batter before you put into the thing. Just uh, just the ice cube tray to see if you need more, but then you just blend it up. She blended hers up with a whisk. She preferred that texture, so there's like a little bit of cream cheese chunks and stuff left in it. Um, I prefer mine to, to be as smooth as I can get it, so I'm going to, going ahead and using this mixture. Um, I probably should have a little bit bigger of a bowl because it's splattering everywhere, but um, just go slow at first and then you can speed it up a little bit. And um, I probably will try this batter just to make sure that it tastes right before I put it into the ice cube tray. But yeah, you just mix it up for a while till it's all smooth. Oops. You can show this. Pause it for a second and come back. Yeah. So this is not mixing up as well as my first batch. Um, you might want to come a little closer so that the sound is good. But it's not mixing up as good as my first batch because I think I might have put a little bit too much lemon juice in it. So I, I added a smidge more um, coconut oil to, to help it kind of get a little more creamy. So this batch is going to taste different. Um, it's kind of strange. Yeah, this one's definitely more liquidy than the last batch. That's okay. It'll freeze up, you know, if I taste for the similar. Excuse me. Okay. So 
So, my previous one, I had to like scoop it into this bag really carefully, but it, this is like so runny that I may not even do the bag. I might just kind of like pour it in there. I don't know. It's kind of kind of strange. Maybe I'll try mixing it for just one more second. Tastes good. That's good. Maybe I mix the other one longer. I don't know. Well, that's probably going to be as mixed as it's going to get. So I'm just going to go ahead and start adding it into the tray and if I don't have to use this then we'll just save this bag. We'll save this bag for another time. <clears throat> I'm just going to scoop it into this tray. Actually I should do it like this. Can you see? Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, these ones, this one's definitely more liquidy, and it also is more yellow, so I'm thinking it's the uh, lemon juice kind of reacting with the cream cheese or something, and it doesn't, it doesn't want to, like, blend well. I'm not a scientist, so I don't know these scientific things, but I bet it will still taste really good. And the purpose of a fat bomb is to, um, you know, our bodies need fat to fill satiated. Um, our brain can eat fat. This diet is about getting an adequate amount of fat, more than what um, a lot of people would eat. But of course you're not eating carbs, so it doesn't affect your body like when you eat a lot of fat with carbs. So this is just a nice little thing to have on hand in the freezer um, because you can um, pull one out when you're feeling hungry or snacky and just pop it in your mouth and I'm not kidding they really um, keep you from eating things you shouldn't and they're okay they're good for you you know they help you uh, get up to your fat macros if you're counting ma <coughs> counting macros and um, if you put a little sweetener in them if you want to do that then they are kind of like a sweet treat too but they're not going to mess up your keto, really. Um, I think I mentioned that some of my fat bombs, I did not put any sweetener in. That My peanut butter ones, I did not put any sweetener in them. They're just coconut um, oil, coconut cream, and peanut butter. And I thought it tasted good enough without sweetener. And my coconut cream ones that I got from Keto Connect... Um, I did not add sweetener to that either, and they're fine just the way they are. If you like the coconut flavor, you don't need a sweetener for that one either. These ones, I, I thought it would just need a little bit of something. So I'm going to actually stick these in the freezer, and I'm going to have Claire pause the video while I go get my other ones, and I'll hopefully, they're hopefully solid enough I can try them for you, but um, I'll trade them out. So this is the batch I made earlier. As you can see, they're creamier looking and a little lighter of a yellow. And they are basically frozen. I don't think they're perfectly frozen, but I think they're frozen enough that I could pop one out and try it for you. So you can I can tell you what I think of it. So yeah, they need a, this needs a little bit more time because usually when I pop these out and they're frozen enough, they just pop right out. So this is partially frozen, but I got to hurry and finish this so I can make my husband his Father's Day dinner. So here we go. Mm -hmm. If you like lemon, and you like the cheesecake flavor, these are perfect. And I think I did the perfect sweetness. There's still a bit of that weird stevia taste that I personally don't like. Um, but it's not annoying. So that's that's great. Yeah. So I recommend you try them. So it's four ounces of cream cheese, fourth cup coconut oil, four tablespoons melted butter, one to two tablespoons of lemon juice, 
lemon zest and uh, sweetener of your choice. And then you mix it all together and put it into an ice cube tray or if you have those silicone um, cookie mold thingies or candy molds, those work really well too. Stick it, <coughs> stick it in the freezer for a while and you got yourself a special treat. So enjoy.